So today was probably my last Costco shop of the season. I am, <laughs> the crowds, the, the people, the germs, the, it's, it's too much for me. Um, usually I try to get this done a little earlier, but I was out of town for two weeks. So as soon as I'm actually just got, I left the airport and went straight to Costco and then came up the mountain. I got some items for, for the next few weeks. I've got some items for the freezer and uh, anything else I need the next few weeks or months I can get locally. So let's check out what I got. So let's do the most perishable first. Tilapia, rockfish, and salmon. I'm gonna separate these out and uh, wrap them up separately and put them in the freezer. I also got some cheese, cheese slices. I think there's two or three different types here. Uh, Swiss, Colby, cheddar, and Monterey Jack. So I'm gonna divide these up and freeze them. I use about one piece a day. I make an omelet with one piece of cheese in it. So this will last me for quite some time. I don't know how many slices are in here, but okay, 40 slices. So this will last me for a while. I wanted to get some, um, mozzarella and some cheddar too, like either block or grated, but they didn't have the amounts or in the format that I needed, so I'll probably get those at a grocery outlet in a couple weeks. Two dozen eggs. Whoops, this way. <laughs> Romaine lettuce that I'm splitting with a friend up here. And two pounds of tomato that I'm also gonna split with a friend. Avocados, which uh, I'm not splitting with anyone. <laughs> I usually have half an avocado a day um, or at a time. They're really good. The Costco avocados are so great. These are six for $9.99. They were the um, organic ones, which actually came out to be less expensive than in the non-organic ones. And five pounds of creamer potatoes. I wanted to get some russets, but they just had like 10, 10 pounds and 15 pounds and huge amounts of potatoes, which I don't have room to store right now. I have to prepare my kitchen a little bit for winter in the summer it's so hot i can't really store stuff the way i do in the winter so I, I have to rearrange things so that i can store more potatoes um but in the meanwhile these look pretty good they were i think they were five five dollars or something like that for those creamers in shelf stable i haven't bought this in years but it's this uh cafe de vida i think it's called it's a costco brand had it for years. It makes a really delicious mocha drink. Um, it's powdered, just add water to it. I have hot cocoa, I have tea, uh, I have broth. I just want this to be a real cozy house this winter. <laughs> I also got a double package of spray Pam. Um, I think these were like $4.49 for two, which is the best price I've seen for this anywhere. Um, I did get some olive oil spray at Walmart for I think $3 and something. I know they sell spray on oil at Dollar Tree. I've been very disappointed with it. Um, I have I had a canola oil or something and it stopped spraying. I mean, it's just one little spray comes out, not, a, not like a full spray. So it makes it almost impossible to use for anything. And yes, I've tried washing out the, the little uh, sprayer with warm water, anything to unclog it, but it, it's just as, just not worth it. Um, the ones I've bought at, uh, at um, Walmart and now these I think are gonna be fine. I will definitely get my money's worth from them. I got three items of clothing, uh, two, uh, a double thing of leggings here. I wear leggings all the time. I don't wear jeans or other pants. I find these are much warmer. I like to wear dresses and skirts and leggings and boots. So I've got two of these and um, I got a large, uh, flannel shirt. Oops. Let me turn it around. This is the only one they had in my size in any color. So I'm happy with that. And I got a jean jacket. A regular jean jacket. I'm going to give you a little tip about buying warm jackets at Costco. If you want to buy a warm, warm jacket, do not go to the women's department, go to the men's department. Last year I bought two jackets. I'm gonna put the little photos above this fleece lined one and then this wool one and they are both men's and they are very warm and last year and this year I did not see anything comparable in women's for warmth. 
I did see they had some barn jackets and, and other flannel shirt jackets and stuff in the men's department that they did not have in the women's department. So, I mean, it's nice to get jackets that look nice and are pretty for going out, but I'm telling you 99% of the time, I don't need that. I need something that's actually very warm. So I was very happy with what I bought last year. And um, again, if you're looking for stuff that is warm, probably in any store, not just Costco, go to the men's department. <laughs> So, do you do any shopping? Have you finished your shopping? Are you still shopping? I highly recommend if you haven't, do it now. We're getting close to the Thanksgiving rush, then the, the Christmas rush, and it's all over. Not only does certain merchandise disappear after Christmas, even after the middle of December, but um, it's just very difficult to navigate the parking lot. Even today I was in Costco, it was, it was a Monday afternoon, middle of the afternoon, Monday, the parking lot was full, full. I parked way at the end of the parking lot. I thought, well, it's not the weekend, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing big's coming up full. So again, I highly suggest you do any sort of shopping you need to do as soon as possible, stock up. It's always good to stock up. And um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>